So I'm going I'm going to that the church. There it is. It looks a little bit like a Templar stuff on top of it, doesn't it? So there's the church. Cat hiding. Psst, psst, psst. So I already filmed this all for you years ago, but this is not what I wanted to tell you now. What I wanted to tell you now is who are the Italians anyway? Who are they? You know? So this is called Liguria, I already told you that. It's an abandoned village. There's only one, one family who came living here again. So I've, I've, I've been spending here months all alone, you know, nobody here. Eh? Uh, they're real nice people anyway, actually. In that house there where you see the lamppost. There. Real nice people. They're only friendly to me, I think. I saw them, you know, like Swiss passing by in Germans. They just said hello and that was it, you know. No, they're not stupid, eh? So, it's the church, eh? It's abandoned. Everything is abandoned. So, this is religion, eh? It's a state religion, and as there's nobody living here eh, anymore, the church is dead as well. Right? I mean, it should always be, if it would be real, you know, it should be still going on, eh? But anyway, who are the Italians? The Italians actually, they're not really Europeans. And uh, people talk a lot, a lot about it now, how... Uh, there's so many in immigrants, especially in Italy, you know, the whole fascist stuff is all coming back nowadays. And I talked with a black young girl who said, oh, we, we're treated horrible by them. And it happened to me last summer, I got arrested by the police because uh, the, the Italians, they called up the police, just le like they did in Spain, except Catalonia. Uh, and they came, you know. Uh, I was smart, so I, I, got, I got away with it. But you, you can feel fascism coming back here in Italy, which is an Italian thing anyway. Mussolini was two years in Switzerland, eh? where, he got, uh, he, where he got taught, just like Lenin, just like Hitler. They all Mussolini lived two years. He lived in Switzerland. Eh? And um, so did, um, so did um, Lenin, 15 or 20 years. I thought it was even 20 years. So who are they? I tell you who they are. They all talk about nowadays about, you know, third world country immigrants. But nobody talks about the fact the millions of Italian immigrants that are all over Northern Europe being treated very well. There are more, I tell you, there are more Italian immigrants, I think, in Northern Europe than there are altogether like Muslim immigrants and all that. Why we don't talk about it? You know, because they're Pharaoh's slaves. They came, Pharaoh took his slaves, eh? the aristocracy, they took their slaves, their good slaves and their soldiers. They built up the Roman Empire. Then they murdered all the Celts in Italy. Here, Liguria, the Ligurians, is a Celtic tribe. They murdered them all. You know, the people still, you know, they, try, they survived in the mountains, you know, sort of. Yeah, you know, they all leave them alone. They're just uh, some hillbillies anyway, you know, like this, you know. Just fuck, rape their women and leave them alone. Then, you know, they had enough, yeah. You know, they're down already. So, they, 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 they kill all the Celts. That's why the Romans, they had a problem with the Celts, you know, and they said, uh, nah. Hey, you want to talk in the camera? He's a really nice one here. It's a male cat, but they, they, they cut his balls because otherwise there would be too many of them. Hey, <laughs> he's very smart. Uh, yeah. I let, him, I let him into the house, you know, the other day, you know, for like half an hour. It was raining so much, he was so happy. Hey. 
And um, yeah, of course they took their slaves with them. You know, that's why they say now in history that the, uh, oh dear, that's all. That the uh, Romans, they had uh, attacks by the, by the northern tribes of the Celts all the time. And no, 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 no. It's the other way around. Eh? It's all a lie. And so the Italians, actually, they're very different. I can see it with hitchhiking, you know. You know, like in France, the French, they, they take hitchhikers. Yeah? They don't invite you home, but they take hitchhikers. But if I see Italians, I, I don't even have to ask them, you know. So... <laughs> I know that they're, they're not gonna even gonna, gonna answer me. But these people here in these mountains, they're in the northern mountains, they're, they're, they're quite different. But of course, it's all by the pharaonic invasions, the Roman invasions all over Europe. This used to be Europe here, it's not anymore really. Uh, it's all pharaonic. So they, the Italians are the good slaves of Pharaoh. That's why after the war, Two world wars because of the uh, transition from the old world order to the new world order. Uh, they brought in so many Italian slaves. Um, the Italians hardly suffered during World War Two and World War One. Well, World War One, yeah, they they did suffer. The man died. Uh, they got rid of a lot of uh, naughty slaves, like you know, make better slave, kill the man. They probably send the Ligurians in the first row, just like the uh, the French. They they send the the Brittany people, the Celts, into the first rows in Verdun and La, and La Somme, you know, to, so they get killed f first. And look at what the Italians did, you know. This is why it started in you know the Etruscans, the Etruscans. Rome started with the Etruscans. They they were the first settlements of Pharaoh who were. Um, worshipping Isis and Obelisk and, and the whole pharaonic thing and sort of a runic alphabet because, because of the Haunabu who were the, the Vikings having a um, the sea peoples having a, um, an alliance with Pharaoh and look at what the Italians did in Abyssinia which is called Ethiopia now uh, in the 1920s you know with the fascism coming up and all that the fascism, you know, and uh, they, 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 they did uh, biological warfare on, on children and on, you know, throwing biological bombs, you know, down from, from, from the airplanes, double-winged airplanes and all that. Horrible things, no, nobody talks about it. Always talking about the Germans and all that, never about what the Italians did, you know. And uh, there were t Italian concentration camps. They, they, they did a lot of murders in, in Greece and, you know. So they are, Italians are Roman slaves. They are pharaonic slaves. They brought their slaves and their soldiers with them, you know, to conquer Europe. This is how it started. Eh? And uh, as, as the boot it's very thin, you know, it was quite strategically, it was quite, it's not that difficult, you know, you could all round them up, you know, where you go, you know, at a certain moment you end up at the sea. So it's, it's easier to control. And um, so nobody talks about Italian immigrants, only talking about Islamic immigrants. Nobody talks about pharaonic immigrants, the pharaonic slaves. And nowadays, um, as Voltaire, he said, 50% of the people living in Switzerland, they live in paradise, and the other 50%, they live in hell, you know, the slaves. But, but these slaves, they became horrible themselves in Switzerland, you know. They were, you know, 800 years or 700 years of, uh, or 1,000 years of uh, political indoctrination, and, you know, Swissy became Swissy, eh? So now Rome, today's Rome, is Switzerland, eh? And um, there are 50% of them, they're real pharaohs, and the other 50% are, are horrible slaves, you know. Uh, so the Italians, eh? They're no Europeans. I can see it when hitchhiking. I already told you so. They act so differently. They never take. Muslims take. Arabs take quite easily. 
black people that don't take hitchhikers, forget it, you know. Most of the time, when the moment they've got a car, they, they just get arrogant, you know, real arrogant. Uh, look down up upon a hitchhiker. Italians, they are... Uh, when I ask them to hitchhike, they really react arrogantly as well. Aggressive, even aggressive. How dare you ask me, like, you know. Here in the mountains, uh, some people take me. Yeah. But... Uh, I saw a lot of people swearing even at me, just like in France. So at least two times, you know, the Italian fascists, you know, they attacked Northern Europe and Western Central Europe. First time, of course, with the Romans, the biggest genocides the world has ever seen or not seen. Secondly, with Mussolini, two years in Switzerland, the Duke, Il Duce, it means the Duke, hey, there we go again, hey. And um, so Nazism started in Italy, really. The word, it's with a Z, it's not national Zionism as the lying Palestinians tell us because they want us to um, solve their problems for them, eh? so they can all drive Mercedes just like any Muslim immigrants in Europe, so they lie. And I don't like them lying, it's too important. That's why I don't like Palestinians very much, because they lie to us. And uh, so the word Nazi, with a Z, as in German, is with a T, nationalismus. It's from Italian. You write it with a, with a Z, in American with a Z, in English with a Z, in, uh, in English. Nationalismo, nationalismo, it's with a Z, it comes from the Italians. They call them the Nazis, and then the Germans took it over. Oh, a nice word, eh? The Nazis, yeah? And then they attacked us again, you know? Pharaonic Italian slaves, they started it again. And uh, they helped building up Hitler's force as well, you know? Mussolini and all that. They, he was before Hitler. And um, as the G Germanic warriors are probably the best warriors in the world, you know? Well, to call them soldiers, I mean, a warrior doesn't take orders from a, well, from a general. See my film, Soldier versus Warrior. But they were warrior, warriors, they became soldiers. And now, with the nationalism and the fascism getting up in Italy, so this is really the last time, I don't feel safe here at all. Uh, there will be a third time coming again from Italy and the pharaonic slaves and the first base of Pharaoh on our Europe. And then they went to France, as I told you, because they liberated France. Yeah, They, they murdered everybody in France, all the, the Gallic Wars. Eh? And now they're all over. But it, every time it starts from Italy. And this is the reason. So, okay. It's Christmas, eh? so we should ring the bell, shouldn't we? Eh? Look at that, there's the bell. Well, let's go and ring it eh? to end the show. There we go, the bell. It's all a state religion of Pharaoh. But of course, the Italians, they don't even know anymore, you know, where they come from, you know. It's just a facade, you know, like Italy. And their history is like here, you know, right behind it. It's like, look, it's like all eroded. Why? There's nothing behind it, you know. Because the slaves, the dumb slaves, they have no tradition. They have nothing written down like our masters. So when grandpa dies, nobody knows anymore, you know, it doesn't go any further, and even grandpa, it, it's, they, they just live day by day, you know. It's just a facade, look at it. Uh, so the Italian pharaoh slaves in Italy, they don't know where they come from. They absolutely don't know it. It's the same with Germanic tribes. I mean, who gave the name Germanic? The Romans did, the masters, the pharaohs. The Celts as well. 
Otherwise, people didn't even, wouldn't even know about the name Celt or Germanic or... They have no notion. We're all slaves, eh? It's all slavery. And not even in this village here, people know that they used to keep the, um, the cattle here, the cows in here. Nobody knows, you know, because there's no tradition. There's nothing written down. Yeah. Nothing written down. We're just dumb slaves. If you look at the map, you know, and how they conquered Europe, the Romans did through Rome. And if you cross the dip from Egypt, you get to Sicily. That's the nearest point in Europe. And they've been coming there for ages and ages and ages to Sicily. And this is how they conquered us. And this is why the Italians are very different. And they're everywhere in the US, in England, in Germany, everywhere. So this abandoned village is approximately about in between 500 and 1500 years old. Because down there, there's even a Roman bridge, an old Roman bridge. So the Romans it could be 2000 years old. But th the thing is, nobody really knows. The slaves, they don't know. Because they're slaves, you know? They don't even know where they come from. That they are from Egypt. If they don't even know how old the village is, you know, they don't know it. They don't know nothing because there's nothing being written down. People were just surviving and... The Italians don't know that they are pharaonic slaves, I tell you. They don't even know how old their own village is. They don't even, even if grandfather is still alive, I mean, who listens to him, you know? And he didn't write anything down, nobody did. And his father didn't, his grandfather didn't. People couldn't even write. Now they can write, but they still don't write it down. Because the only, the only ones who really understood that it's important to write things down, which is the difference between a slave and a master, so that the next generation doesn't have to start all, the, all, all from scratch again, you know? So you have to write things down, but the slaves don't. I tell you, the Italians are very different. They're in the US, in Germany, they're everywhere, and they're very different. And they don't even know where they come from. It was all Celtic, Italy was all Celtic. Down the boot you got Sicily, you know, it's just across, it's just across the dip from Egypt. Nobody talks, everybody talks about Islamic, the, is, the, the, is, the Muslims coming everywhere, the immigrants. Nobody talks about the Italians. I tell you, there are far more Italians than there are Muslim immigrants in Northern and Central Europe and in the US. And nobody talks about it. Why? Because Pharaoh doesn't want to talk about it. Because they're real Pharaoh slaves and they don't even know it anymore because they don't have a tradition of, uh, of writing things down. You know? Italians are very different, very different. I can see them with hitchhiking. They hardly ever take any hitchhikers, you know. And then the way they do it, they lie and they say, no, no, I'm going the next exit, I'm going there, or they don't even answer me, you know. Very rude, very rude. And the fascism is starting all over again in Italy, just like in the 30s and the 20s. Nazism, it comes from the Italian fascist. The word Nazi is from the Italian nationalismo. It's not from national Zionism or some bollocks. Some Palestinian found out that it fits nice together. Come on. It's from the Italians, you know. Uh, with an eagle, and, and it's Roman, it's pharaonic. And now it's happening and again, eh? The Italians, they don't want the Muslim immigrants. But they, they probably forgot about millions and millions of Italians. They, they, had a, they were really nicely accepted in the US, in Germany, in Switzerland, in France, all over. 
They probably forgot about it, just as they forgot their, about their own history. They are immigrants themselves. <laughs> they forgot about it. They even forgot about like 60 years ago, they massively went into Northern Europe, you know, to find for a job or 70 years, right after World War II. It was all a setup anyway, World War II. It was there to, to get rid of the Germanics and the Russians and mix it all up. New World Order shit, eh? Well, there's a big hole in history, eh? He or she who doesn't write things down has no history, has no history at all. It's as simple as that. <laughs>